Hello everyone, I'm Suzanne Boyd and we welcome Gregory Bedrosian, Managing Partner and CEO from Drake Star Partners to m and TV. Hi Gregory. Hi, great to be here, thank you. Thank you for coming. All right, let's talk about tremendous growth in uh, m and activity through the, through the last year. Uh, are valuation gaps a thing of the past? So it's a, it's a great question. I mean, given that we've seen a multi-year run in M&A and our firm specifically focuses mainly on technology, media, and, and communications companies. So they tend to be high growth. And in an up market, our clients tend to be highly valued. What we, we are seeing, however, um, in the current environment, um, strong businesses still getting strong values, but businesses that aren't performing quite up to task, um, buyers are getting a little skittish. And we're, and we're starting to see that for the first time here in the latter part of 2018. What do you see the grave dangers to M&A activity in 2019? So some of it is in 2019, um, we still see a strong market, um, but the, the dangers are, are more company specific. And so what we're seeing is, again, especially in the technology sector, um, acquirers are buying growth and they're buying what we call FOMO, fear of missing out. And in a case where a company continues to show that growth um, or has a very unique technology or offering um, that acquirers seek, um, those companies will continue to have a strong M&A um, process and, and strong prospects on valuation. Um, I think what we are seeing, however, is, and the risks are, companies that aren't growing as fast and aren't as unique um, will see a bigger valuation gap between the strong performers and the middling performers. What are some of the hot markets in 2019 that you're looking at? So sector-wise um, and geographically, I can comment on both because our firm operates from 10 offices um, worldwide. Um, what we are seeing on the geographic front, um, which I can, we're seeing, is a continued trend in cross-border transactions. And in fact, the majority of what we do as a firm tends to be um, a deal that's across multiple borders. Um, and again, in the technology sector, um, not so unusual because technology is global um, um, by, its, by its nature, um, but that trend is continuing. Um, on the sector side, uh, really a lot that's moving into um, the, the digitization of what's gone on in the media entertainment sector continues to be hot. Um, and another area um, that we call mobility um, is increasingly active. Th that's things like electric vehicle charging, um, autonomous driving, where we're seeing both a lot of strategic capital as well as a lot of financial capital looking into, into those sectors. Talk to me about the difference in valuation um, in emerging markets versus here. So in emerging markets, um, there are often um, companies that are leaders in their field worldwide, but happen to be in a high growth emerging market, somewhere in Asia, elsewhere. Um, in those cases, those businesses tend to be valued similarly to what a company in Silicon Valley would be valued at. Um, so from a geography perspective, um, it's really, again, more company specific than it is where, where the headquarters of the company happens to be based. All right, Gregory, thank you so much for joining us on MNA TV. It's nice you. to meet you. Pleasure to be here. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much.